Hey, how's it going guys? Spy here and welcome back to another episode of the Scrap Mechanic Follow Shelter. So it's been a while guys since we were in here and there has been quite a few changes as you can see from the door there. The door is a little different and that is because the piston update came out a while ago. So what I did is I redid a lot of the three bearing piston stuff inside the vault. And now it uses the single block pistons for a bunch of the doors and the door right here itself. The big vault door is on pistons as well. So we're going to open it up and here we go guys. Check this out. It is pretty cool. As you can see it will slide open and it will fall into a little crevice there and it will roll. Almost exactly like the ones in the games. It's pretty neat. We're going to go up over here and we are going to turn it off because this thing is still pretty annoying. You guys may notice that my voice sounds a little different and that is because I moved to a new place and my room is not as noise proof as my other one as I don't have any soundproof foam up quite yet but I will in the future so you guys might just have to get used to it for a little bit until I get there. Anyways let's check out the rest of the follow shelter here as you can see right here. The elevator looks quite a bit different as well and that is because this elevator is now a lot more stable and it runs on the new piston blocks these guys right here these are a lot more stable than the bearing pistons and also i freed up a ton of frames in the follow shelter as well which means we can build a ton more without having to worry about lag although there is still some lag in the follow shelter but not as much so let's hop on this new elevator and check it out so the first thing you guys will probably see is the doors here actually close. They close once the elevator moves out of the way. You'll see, I'm gonna press this button here and bam, see that? They close and these ones open. That is amazing. It looks a ton better. So I'm just gonna go around the follow shelter and do a little tour of the changes really quick. Up over here, we got the armory. This will give you guys a little heads up of the rooms we already have too, because if you guys have any suggestions of future rooms, let me know. I'm gonna keep doing this series for a little bit until we actually hit a dead end with the frames. All right, so in here, it lags a little bit still because uh, I don't think I separated it quite well enough yet. So the doors here are pretty new as well. Check that out, sweet. I could probably do pistons right here, but I kind of like the ammo press looking like this. Yeah, I kind of like that. I might just leave it like that. Okay, there we go. We're gonna open that one there. Perfect. That's probably the only three bearing piston I have in the follow shelter, not including some other small things. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go over here to the security office and the security office also has its own piston door. So we're just gonna press this button here. It opens up just like that and it closes. Okay, so let's head down to the bottom here and we're going to check out a few of the other doors. It's not a very big change, but it is very, very useful. It makes everything so much more simple. My favorite one now is probably the secret bookshelf. Oh, here we go. We're just going to press this and there we go. So much more simple. There's a lot more room back here. I still have to paint some things. Everything's not perfect. And if we go back here, you guys may remember this guy in here. And there he is, the DJ robot. We got a secret dance room back here. Awesome. Okay, so let's head back out. Check out a few more of the doors. At the medical clinic here, we also have a new door to the operations room. Very simple. We're going to go over to the nuclear reactor room. And that is the last set of doors on this floor that use the new pistons. Okay, we're going to press this button here. And now we can open it from this side and it will close by itself automatically now. Okay, and then up here, we have the emergency shutters. They will automatically close once you press this button. A lot more smooth than the three bearing pistons. Okay, and then there's these doors here, press it. Very simple, it's exactly the same as this door here. We're gonna open this up and we are going to head to the last floor of the follow shelter and check out a few more of those doors down there and also a few of the new rooms that you guys may or may not have seen from my latest scrap mechanic live stream okay so here we go 
We're gonna press one of these buttons here. Uh, the elevator's a little messed up. I still have to tweak it a little bit. You have to press either or of these buttons to go up or down. It's kind of weird at the moment, but I have to kind of figure out the logic for that. We are going to go all the way over here and there is only one new piston door here and it is this guy here. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the changes with pistons on this map. We are going to check out the new rooms. So let's head on down here. And these rooms you guys have suggested on the live stream and I finished them up a little bit. There's a flickering light down here. It fits very well with the Fallout Shelter theme. And if you can't guess from this little poll here, this is the barber shop. That's right. You guys have requested a barber shop and here it is. It's very simple. It's like 50s or 60s themed. We got the barber chairs in here. We have the countertops and cabinets up there down there and then we also got the counter very very nice it's nothing too special we got a security sign there and that's because if you look over there there's our barber mr handy for a barber you can totally trust him guys he will totally give you the greatest haircut in all of the vault because if you look at his hand there he has a table saw it's very efficient at cutting hair don't worry about it guys if you know anything about Mr. Handy's, they are very good at cutting cakes, too, for birthday parties. You could trust them. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna hop in the chair here. There is some controls for these chairs, as you can see right there. I'm just gonna peek over, and we're gonna press this button here to move the chair. Very cool, they rotate. And if you press this button, it adjusts, too. We'll get a view from the other side here and check them out. So we're gonna press this button here. It'll turn the chair. Nice. And we will press this button to adjust the chair height. So that is pretty much it for the barber shop. I might add a few more things to this barber shop. I might add uh, maybe a back room there. And I also might add some secrets. Now, you guys, I may have promised a secret in the live stream, but um, I actually haven't gotten to that. <laughs> okay, so let's head down over here. We're gonna head all the way down to the VIP area because we have a new VIP room. This is the VIP hallway, the movie theater, the bar, the private quarters, which is my private quarters. I got a recording studio in here. We have the artificial environment. So let's go back out into the hallway and we're gonna go down these stairs and we will see that down these stairs we have a brand new hallway we can add a bunch more rooms down here maybe one or two i think if you guys have any suggestions at all for new rooms that haven't already been added to the fallout shelter and fit the vip theme let me know i might add like a little hotel down here because you guys said you wanted to see a hotel in the live stream i don't know how well that would go but we could have a hotel down here for outside visitors, maybe some ghouls or super mutants, I don't know. Something like that. This is what we've been waiting for. The casino. That is right guys, we have a casino inside the fallout shelter, so let's go in here. This is the lobby. We have the counter. And this is where you get your chips. You hand in, I guess, bottle caps for casino chips and vice versa. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna press this button to open up the security door, which uses a new piston. We're gonna close it by pressing this button. And inside the booth here, we have a few register pieces, some logic gates. It kinda just looks like they're little cash registers for casino chips or money. Pretty simple, nothing too much with that. Let's go back outside here, close the door for security reasons, even though you could just press the button there and go inside, but don't worry about that. Let's turn around. We got some chairs, some end tables, and that is pretty much it for the lobby. This is where you would stick your kids if they can't go inside the casino, and the parents would go inside and do some gambling, and the kids would sit out here just, I don't know, reading comics? Reading old comics about barbarians and stuff? We go through this tunnel here, and we are now in the casino. It's pretty small. I wanted to keep it pretty small because usually, um... In the fallout shelters, there's not too many people, and I don't think there would be too many people that would want to gamble inside the fallout shelter. Maybe just for some fun, but in that case, there is a back room for that reason. Okay, so we got the casino floor, and on the casino floor we have a few gambling tables. We have blackjack right there. 
We can sit here, play some blackjack, and the teller would just stand here and deal some cards. It may or may not be rigged for the teller to win so that he could provide the overseer with some money. Maybe it's just the overseer that's living here and he just played blackjack by himself. That's kind of sad. This is the Texas Hold'em table. We play cards here, gamble a little bit. Nothing too extreme, or maybe a little extreme. Maybe we'll bet all our bottle caps for the month and then uh, not have any money to buy any food. That's kind of dark. Okay, and then we have the roulette table. It actually works. We're going to press this here. And there goes the ball spinning around there and see if we can land on one of the things we betted. Perfect. We didn't get it. This roulette table was made by Doge Lord. And then over here, a platform which leads us to the slot machines. And these are pretty simple. You just got to turn them on. And there you go. Um, that one's kind of broken, I think. Yeah. There you go. I fixed them. They now work somewhat. They may or may not be rigged like the other ones out there. So we're just going to press these buttons here. See if we can land a straight or a diagonal. Let's go. Bam. Oh, we didn't get it. Okay, let's try this one. Darn. Okay, last one. They're all rigged. They are all rigged, guys. Oh, no. So, that is pretty much it for the slot machines. Everything in here is rigged. Even the blackjack and the poker or Texas hold'em table. Mm, I don't know about roulette because I think roulette's already rigged as it is. And then back here, we have another room, and this is more like the casual games room. We got darts, or maybe tournaments would be held here. You could do some dart tournaments. Those look like Christmas reefs, but that's the best dart board I could do in that size. You could throw some darts here. I guess we don't really have darts, so we could just throw ourselves at the board. And then we got the pool table here, which was made by Thal Z. I just realized that the lights in here are flickering too, which is kind of crazy. It's kind of creepy. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the casino here. If you have any other suggestions for games, let me know in the comments. Or you can make them yourself and submit them to me. And I will for sure try to use them inside the casino. We really don't have too much room at the moment. Maybe I'll make uh, another room somewhere else. Maybe a secret room for uh, illegal gambling. Uh, don't do that. All right, so that is pretty much it for the casino, and that is pretty much it for this episode. I checked out quite a bit of the new stuff, including the new pistons, which took forever to actually implement into the follow shelter. I had to remove everything and re-add everything by hand, but the good thing is these pistons are very, very easy to use. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this episode. You guys should see some more scrap mechanic episodes in the near future. I'm still working on kind of getting the mini city working with some pistons and coming up with some ideas. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing and remember stay sweet bye i'm ready for my haircut now